Hello everyone, welcome to Amateur Decorating Like a Pro. I am Catherine. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a very quick and temporary centerpiece for our dining room. I wanna share with you a tip that I learned while working in a department store and temporarily filling in in a visual department. And it is called the X Factor. That just simply meant to us that when we were doing a table presentation, that table had to be appealing to the customer from all four sides. And if it was a round table, it had to be a 360 effect. So that's the thing that you wanna keep in mind when you're doing a temporary centerpiece or a permanent centerpiece on your dining room tables. I'm not doing a tablescape today. You said you wanted short and more frequent videos. So let's just talk about one thing today, giving your tables the X factor. Let's go ahead and go to work. Now you've probably seen ginger jars propping up everywhere in home decor stores as well as on dinner tables and I think it is absolutely stunning. Mine are best suited on the floor because of their size but this time around because of the color I want to use them on the dining room table as a temporary centerpiece. I've got the large green faux picks that I got from Hobby Lobby. You get those when they're 50% off and really I love the green more so than I love the faux silks because they get dusty and I don't like cleaning them and the green you can just simply rinse off in the sink and just let them dry on a towel so they're very easy to arrange in opposite directions here and then take the jars and just overlap them just a little bit in front of each other in the center of your table and if you'll notice that overlap creates a diagonal line and then the faux greenery creates the other one and that's where you form the X. Now once I'm satisfied with this arrangement, I take those little round pieces of greenery, they almost look like little tiny shrubs, I really do, and I use those to fill in the openings between the two ginger jars. And this is the basics that I use to make any centerpiece. I always want to look at the center and to make sure that I find it appealing from all four sides. That's it guys, that's all you gotta do. And the other thing is you simply build from here. So if you want to add in your silk floor arrangements, if you want to add objects around the greenery or in the greenery where there's more table scatter, you can do that. And you see it right here, it looks great from all angles. You've seen front, back, and sides right now. So give this a try. Now those jars are really pretty and they actually have another color in there that's a little gold or a hint of brown. So I remember that I had this tray on the coffee table in our family room and I thought, yeah, I was gonna do this with the nautical theme that I've got going in there, but let's try it on the table. This is just temporary. And so I decided to put it underneath this vignette. The other thing is it's a little rough, so I do need to add some surface protectors to it so it doesn't scratch up the dining room table. So by using this tray, I can add additional elements. I can add Easter eggs or other forms of greenery. I can use silks, I can use florals, I can use vine-like florals, even table scatter, something associated with spring and or Easter. So this is a chance to use that base to hold on additional colors. And again, you see how full that is with just adding the tray? It just adds another dimension to it. Now I went looking up in the attic where I did organize the spring and the fall and the Christmas decor and I found something that was just perfect to give me another pop of white along the base of the vases or jars. Now I'm really excited about this presentation because it really is in line with how I love to decorate. I really love the simple elegance. And even though they're large pieces, but finding in the attic this little bunny rabbit adds that pop of white and really gives a touch of whimsy to the centerpiece. I also have these beautiful paper placemats. Can't wait to use those 
throughout the spring and I'm just ready to go with simplicity this spring and get the blue and white flow on the entire first floor guys it's all beachy or traditional blue and white now I know we see these tall centerpieces and I am smart enough to know that that is not a permanent thing I know we temporarily stage those things in the interim before a holiday or when guests are coming because they make the table look pretty and that's okay well, that's it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this short video. Your wish is my command. 75% said two videos like this, and I'm going to do them. See you again very soon with the very next one. Thanks so much for watching. Now, if you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so today. And remember to turn on your notifications. What does that mean? Press the bell. The little brackets will come around the bell, meaning you will be notified when I have uploaded the very next video. Thanks a lot for watching, and as always, stay in prayer and stay creative.